All right, while we're in the bridal world, let's go ahead and do a special effect. We're going to do a couple of special effects. The uh, first one we're going to do is it's a technique that's very, very popular with wedding photographers, very, very popular with brides and their families. But as photographers, we're like, oh, no, not that effect. But I'm going to show it to you anyway. Remember, it's not how we feel about the effect. It's how our clients feel about it. So we're going to do uh, an effect here where we make the bride black and white. Everything's black and white except for the flowers. It's a selective color effect. And you usually would go to Photoshop, but you can do it right here using a little trick. Let me close this over with the adjustment brush. Step one is to zero out all your uh, sliders. So press double click on the word effect to zero everything out. You're going to go to the saturation and you're going to lower it to zero. So we're basically painting black and white. And then you're going to turn off auto mask. Because again, we're going to paint over a large area like I talked about earlier. Painting over a large area, you don't want it on because it would be try to find the edges of things. As you paint, your brush will go very quick if you turn that off. So let's go ahead and make everything black and white. But you're going to stay away from the, the bouquet. So don't get too close to the bouquet. Kind of leave some breathing room there. Make your brush smaller. And we'll get in this area. But still, you don't want to get too close to the bouquet. All right, now... Now that you've painted over most of this stuff, right, let's make sure we've got it all. And if you move your cursor over, you can see that, yeah, we pretty much got it all. We did a pretty good job there. Oh, we missed a little spot down here. You can see that's still in color right there. So put your cursor over it. You can see just like that. And if you press the letter O on your keyboard, it actually leaves that overlay on so you can make sure that you didn't miss anything. You can see as you paint where the overlay is. All right. Now... Oh, I missed some spots over here. There we go. Okay, let's hit the letter O to turn it back off. Now, now that you're getting close to the flowers, now is when you want to turn auto mask back on. So let's make our brush a little larger. You're going to try to keep that plus sign away. The plus sign in the middle, that little, little crosshair cursor, you're going to keep it away from the flowers. You don't want that to cross over. It's okay if the edges of the brush cross over. In fact, it's recommended but you don't want that little plus to extend over or they will become black and white too. So let's go in here and that's it. Look how easy that was to do. So we have the whole, she's, the image is black and white, roses are still in color. You and I think it's cheesy. Don't worry, the bride will love it. <laughs>